stage right here for the one, the only, Pen Chen Kata! Woo! <laughs> Hit him with the fucking leg <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a longer video. It's not too long. It's like 10 minutes long, but um, obviously, I just wanted to say right off the bat, um, if you guys watched the intro, I probably skipped it like when uploading it, but I still watch it. I just kind of like skip to where I start the reaction. But Scott Jackson was saying that Pension Kata is the two-time world champion, which she is, which is the craziest part about that is that when I first started getting into beatbox, um, like late 2000s, uh, she was actively battling around then and ultimately ended up winning the first, uh, I think it was the first females world championship at the uh, the World Beatbox Championship in 2012. That's the year that Skiller and LM had their finals in the male category and Skiller won. So it's crazy because she didn't compete pretty much at all for 11 years up until last year and she won it all again. So that just goes to show like how good she is and the female category like she is so good that she can easily beat a lot of like the male uh active male beatboxers in the, in the beatbox battle scene today like that's how good she is so that just goes to show like how incredibly good like pension kata is as a beatboxer to have that big of like a, a time off because she came from the old school era and you see how the beatbox is progressing over the years to this new school kind of style so for her to go in and win again in 2023 without competing for like 11 years is absolutely crazy. So just wanted to say that, but um, yeah.
Obviously, she's improved in her beatboxing. Like, her style's kind of, like, evolved over the years. I feel like I hear, like, a heavy influence of, like, Footbox G. I don't know if you guys are getting that. Just, like, the kind of, like, sound palette and, like, the way that she structures structures her combination. Sounds a lot like Footbox G. I don't know if you guys are getting that, but, like, that's the first person that's coming to my mind here. It's like a female Footbox G almost. It's kind of crazy. You're amazing, amazing. Thank you for your love. Do you want to show you some Bulgarian style? Okay. Yeah, seven, eight. Червенде да и така, па така, на криви си калпачето и така, па така. Was that nine minutes already? That went by really Keep fast. Keep the love going what? for Pension Kata. Come on, Tokyo! Yay! Moriagatimaska, Pension Kata. That's way shorter than nine minutes. 
Hey, it's Pechenkata. Thanks to watching my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or you cannot follow me. It's your choice. Thank you. <laughs> Humble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Pechenkata here. Again, uh, this is someone that has been in the scene for a very, very long time. She's an OG, right? Right back to the roots of like the modern day beatbox scene. Like, you know, mid 2000s, late 2000s is like when she first kind of came into the scene, right? Again, two time world champion as well. So, yeah, it's absolutely crazy to see her kind of make her own in, in like the newer kind of uh, era of the beatbox scene, right? Because, you know, I've always said this every time I watch someone who like really impresses me is that they had that new school kind of style, like, they developed their style into like the modern day era of beatbox and you compare today's beatbox to like the old school era which she still kind of possesses like obviously she's improved a lot but you can kind of hear it in her style right she has that old school kind of like structure build of the old school beatbox era but she kind of like added that flair of like new school right and like i compared it to footbox g because i feel like a lot of the sounds that she kind of um introduced into her palette here and like the way that she implements them into the routines and whatnot she's doing you know her, her combinations and stuff gives off like heavy footbox she vibes who's like a very like he's been around footbox he's been around but he's like i'd say he's more on the new school kind of in the new school kind of era beatbox so um but yeah it's really impressive to see her kind of like come into her own right in the, in the new school era of beatbox and that's really hard to do um a lot of these old school beatboxers just don't even like compete anymore you see them like judging and stuff you see them doing like showcases like this but like yeah penjin kata is just this is the first time i saw her in a very very long time to be fair so um really surprised me here honestly she's very powerful on stage too like um just like her basics come off very very like heavy if that makes sense like it's almost like all her individual sounds um like her basic sounds have like an underlying like bassy kind of effect to it um which is like crazy that's just how powerful she is so yeah really great stuff from her um again that did not feel like nine minutes the video was not like nine minutes long that felt like five minutes like like i don't know why i guess i was enjoying it a lot so it just kind of like went by super fast so Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So if you guys enjoyed what you heard here, links in the description to the original video. Uh, go check it out. If you want to support me, leave a like on this video. You can sub to my channel. Check out my Discord channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next Beatbox Reaction video.